The Riti is a less common but flexible opening that controls the center with the knight before committing a pawn. d5 occupies the center and controls the e4 and c4 squares. c4 attacks the d5 pawn, daring black to to trade on c4, if this trade occurs then white will have two center pawns versus black's one center pawn. c6 supports the d5 pawn and allows the queen to develop on the queen side. This prepares the bishop for development. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. QC2 develops the queen and protects the c4 pawn. Recaptures. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. The bishop is ready to be developed to an active square. This prepares the bishop for development. This fianchettos the bishop by placing it on a powerful diagonal. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. Master Games It is the last book move. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is good. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. Takes back. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level.